Yo, we are live. Yo, <sighs> and I had my own stream volume on. Whew, I'm a little out of breath. <sighs> I was running. I was taking my dog out as quick as I could so I wouldn't be late. But I was late anyways. It's just so nice out. She was chilling. How's everybody doing today? I see y'all were chatting before the stream even started. Look at that. Everyone's been so nice since past live streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we try and be nice, you know. We're, we're trying to do a little positive uh, community for everybody. So, you know. Generally, people who've come in and been toxic, we've either muted them or banned them. <laughs> so, yeah. It's great. We've got Blocks Fruit, Jess, Don't Touch Grass, Drake, Jake. Octovalis. Very nice, very nice. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, man. <sighs> All right. Good old, good old immortal snail time. We pushed an update this morning. And for about 40 minutes, it had a, a massive bug where it would delete everyone, or it would delete your inventory <laughs> when it killed you, which is horrible. <laughs> um, hold on, let me pull this thing up. I want to show you all the bug list that I fixed. Because if you just came straight from the video, basically, there's a lot of problems with this mod at first. It's the first time I've done any of this, so here we go. I love this. Immortal Snail is now immortal, lol. <laughs> uh, I used uh, I used M Creator. Um, it used to die by a whole bunch of things that M Creator doesn't count for, but now I just have a uh, a thing that's, if it takes damage, a uh, don't. That's what the, the little code thing is for it. <sighs> I have a void fix. Because it would fall in the void, it wouldn't die, and it would just fall forever. Um, so it teleports to world spawn. Um, it follows you for 10,000 blocks. It actually doesn't. Um, I put that in there because I just thought it'd be funny. Uh, it follows you for... 2048 blocks that is the farthest farthest it can follow you for um that is a minecraft limit that i don't have control of without massively changing how minecraft works so um he loads chunks and unloads chunks so he's not gonna lag out your game too much um he kills without breaking your armor now the king snail still does that's intended um, Snail Helmet has increased her ability, and the helmet has an ability now, which is fun. Um, it's the, it makes you immune to damage while you're sneaking. So if you crouch, basically, if you sneak with the reinforced Snail Helmet, you're immune to damage, but you're in, you're, you're, you're immobile. You can't move, you can't jump, and you can't attack anything. So yeah. Remember we were 500, feels like just a week ago. But yeah. So there's that. A lot of people um, were like, so you can just trap it. And that's like the whole point, I think. Is you can just trap it. <sighs> so. I don't know why I'm going in here. I guess I'm just used to testing in super flat, so I clicked on that. But yeah, so I'm... If you want to do more stuff with M Creator, use plugins. Ooh. But yeah. So I guess we're just going to get into it. Whatever world it gives us is the one we're going with. Eat escargot for 2,000 subs? No, 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 dude. I ain't eating that. That's gross. Um... Also, another thing I changed. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I have, I have two plugins already for M Creator. Um, but I will not be eating escargot. That's disgusting. I, maybe it tastes good. Maybe it doesn't. I don't want to know. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me change this so you guys don't see that white bar up top. There we go. Much better. All right. Snail core is what I'm gonna call this. Another thing I changed is um, the snail spawns 300 blocks above your head at the beginning. So if you play this, when you load in, move. <laughs> That's all I could say. All right. Oh, geez. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, and to be clear, we are cheesing this guy. We are going to mess with him so much. Um, the goal is to survive on hardcore against a thing that's going to one-shot me. So I'm not going to be able to look at chat very well. <laughs> but, here we go. Also, I was trying to do this with 100 snails, like last week or two weeks ago. Uh, I will not be doing that. That's way too much. Okay. Here we are. In a birch forest. I hate birch wood. Trap him in a hole. That's probably the plan. Um, the original immortal snail pr thing is, like, you can just trap it. Like, that's the whole point, is what would you do? You have a ton of money, and there's a snail. What do you do? And everybody all together said, we just put it in concrete in the ocean. And then all a, a bunch of my comments on the video are like, this is lame. You could just trap it. I'm like, that's the point of the snail, though, right? Like, of course you could just trap it. And you can also just run away. Which is what we're doing. We're just going to run away. I'm going to take my crafting table, though. <clears throat> this is how we're living at first. We're just going to go. Name the snail Dale and put him in a, gla a glass prison later. Yeah, no more border. The border was a stopgap to try to make the snail not bug out, but I've got bugs fixed for the most part. It should it should follow forever, and it should just... It's, everything works now. And we're not doing a hundred snails. That was too many. I tried. I tried. I did my best. I lasted to day 30. Make the immortal snail ed edible. Um, I want to go and find regular snails at some point, and we can eat those. But first, we are looting. Oh, I'm rich. Oh, I also tried to make it so that it gives the player a uh, a single emerald on uh, what's it called? A single emerald when you spawn in. Uh, but somehow I couldn't get it to work. It was weird. But that's your that's your riches. Um, I went off of Matt Pat's video that said that the. The Minecraft Emerald is worth like 400 million uh, US dollars, like if it was real. So just using that math, um, basically, what the heck? I've never seen this before. Huh? Okay. But yeah, basically that's how it is. There... There's most likely a way to kill the snail. Um, there's no way to damage it. I'm sure there are ways to bug it out. I'm sure. Am I going to find them? Probably not. Because, I mean, maybe put 100 people playing it. Um, you might find them. It probably would bug out in multiplayer. But with just me playing by myself here, I doubt I'm going to have any. Well, maybe I'll, I'll have some bugs, but nothing too crazy, most likely. Oh. 
A ruined portal. Wait. Unbreaking sharpness. Bro, we got a good weapon to start off with. And we'll use the unbreaking axe for a bit. Is this 100 days? If I last 100 days, I will make a 100 days video. However long I last for. Can you not die, or is the snail just a one-shot enemy? The, sh the snail's just a one-shot enemy. I figure your immortality is in the fact that you're Minecraft Steve, and Minecraft Steve is basically a god. Being the only one who can craft in this world. Um, you know, do I go towards plains or savannah here? I might as well boat around and check them both. Cybugius is here. Hello. Are you planning on never sleeping? Nope, I'm asleep. Another village. Look at that. Villagers probably can craft. They just hide it. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I made it so that basically when you... It was already a feature of the previous version, but I didn't tell anybody about it in the mod because I thought that, or in the video, because I thought it'd be funnier or like better to just discover it yourself. Uh, when you sleep, it teleports closer to you. So, even if you run thousands and thousands of blocks away, if you run past the 2000, 2048 limit of how far it could see you, it, uh... It teleports to you when you sleep, so I'm not going to just, like, stop sleeping. There was, there was golden ice cargo, yes. I'm not seeing every chat, sorry. I'm glancing over and seeing a couple here and there. I could pause and, and do it occasionally. But I want I want a really successful day one of getting far away from this guy and getting some stuff by looting. Oh, interesting little cave system. Hello, cat. That doesn't look good. That looks like I'm lagging a little bit. That cat just ran. Kind of funky. Um, hmm. Am I lagging? Is it my render distance? No, we should be fine. It's because I have Curse Forge open. Curse Forge is a pain. <laughs> um, hmm. Bro, this has nothing. <laughs> this has got, like, no durability on it at all. That's insane. Okay, I'm still lagging. That's weird. I'll have to figure that out. But I'm not worrying about it for right now. Almost 2k subs, yes. Also, you have a resource pack that makes iron golem flowers rust. Yes. They're yellow normally, right? I just think it's weird that they have yellow flowers on them and drop red flowers when they die. So I, I, I have a pack that fixes that. Uh, 
I like how I'm looking over my shoulder to see if the snail's there, but there's no way the snail would have reached me like this. I should have... I should go back and grab a bed. I was going to say I should have brought a bed, but... You know, I can I can still do that. Actually, what I should do... I should just sleep here. That's what I should do. We're gonna we're gonna just pick up more hay bales and then sleep here. It's gonna be great. Okay, hold on. Why am I struggling? Why is it popping up to fifty three percent memory? Come on, this computer should be able to handle Minecraft, no problem. Should make it so the snail... Yeah, that... That's a lot. Making it... <laughs> so that the snail catches up roughly the amount of time that it should have? No. That's way too much work. I have no idea how I'd even start to do that. Hold on. There are, I saw Alan's most likely to see it if you put it in the Discord. And you're right, I didn't see it. But yeah. Um, we slept. There he is. Hello, snail friend. He teleports really high up in the air for, uh, what's it called? When he spawns near you when you sleep and he teleports really high up in the air. Uh, so that he doesn't, like, teleport into a block and get stuck, like, just by you sleeping, so. But it's fine, because he sl swims really slow and we're just gonna leave. How do I download the mod? Um, I have it on the M Creator website, and I have it on... Oh, actually, I might not have the most updated version on M Creator. I'd go on CurseForge if you uh, if you want it right now. That's probably the best. When I'm done streaming, I'll, I'll update it on M Creator. Because I, I pushed um, uh, Immortal Snail. It probably has my name in it. I put my name in it because I saw that there were more Immortal Snail mod things and i don't want mod elements to get named the same accidentally so that if you can load two of them if you want i don't know who'd want to load two immortal snail mods but you know if you did for some reason uh you can and the item states and things won't mess each other up because i put alan craft in the title so double the fun um, am I finding an ocean? No. I was really hoping to find, like, spruce or an ocean, either one. Hold on, let me check. Um, oh, I don't have... Okay. We're gonna turn on cheats so I can check, um, force load query. Okay, good. I was wondering if that was the, um, we're gonna save and quit to get rid of that. Um, but I just wanted to check if that's what was lagging me out a little bit is if, is if he wasn't unloading his chunks, but he is unloading his chunks. So it should be fine. Also, sorry if you use the force load command, but the snail uses it and you can't, you, you can't use it because he's using it basically. Alan, any comments on 2k followers? Did I reach 2k right now? Are you serious? Or is this like in advance of 2K? It's in advance, all right. I was like, whoa, already? I don't know, man. 
I, I'm really not sure. I would love to just have comments on these things, but it's all just so new and quick to me, and I'm not sure. I don't have thoughts on it yet. I'm going to, like, blink and be at, you know... I mean, I basically blinked and was all of a sudden at a 1,000, and I was like, whoa. And it's awesome. I'm just... I'm just shocked, you know? <laughs> so I don't, I don't have a lot to say about it. What did I eat before stream? I ate some... Uh, what did I have today? I made me a quesadilla, and I have a bunch of blueberries that I'm snacking on now. I'm going to make a big proper dinner when I'm done streaming. But... I wanted to explore and maybe find some better loot and a good place that I want to build and live at. But I guess when you find a weird ravine cave this big, you might as well start mining, right? Dude, look at all that iron. Perfect. Um, pickaxe and shovel. Just work our way through here. Alan burned you in lava last stream. Yeah, I burned everybody in lava. I heard a zombie. I think we're fine. I think he's underground. Hold on. Both headphones on. I just heard something and i panicked a little bit okay we're good i was like is that the snail did it find me already you know what i need to do i didn't realize i had full right on right now i want to see where mobs can spawn so i can avoid those places so i need full right off i had it on for you guys to be able to see but it's more about my safety now you know what i'm saying Um, hmm. Any other easy loot I can get without risking it? Because I will not be dying today. Or any day, ever. Because I'm a pro gamer. I've been practicing my Minecraft even. I've I've played several games from start to 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 beating the Ender Dragon in my free time recently. I'm a pro gamer now. Remember the stale could be there? I think I have bought myself enough time to kind of be okay right now. Hold on, what? Mark, are we good? We're good. She showed up and started whining, and I was like, I don't know if she's sick or what, and she uh, she just wants me to play with her with her bone, like we've been doing for a while. We played for a long time today. Margo, is she not doing good? She's doing fine. Um, She's begun demanding that I play with her or she like she it's not even that she wants me to play with her she wants me to sit on the couch while she plays and she wants to sit next to me or on the footrest she wants me to put the footrest up so she can play on the couch and I'm like why 
Where's the snail? Uh, far away. We ran away. <laughs> You're not going to see the snail super often because, you know, we're trying to survive. Being near him is not good for my hardcore uh, health. Um, and we just started, so I'm, I, I haven't even set up a base, so he can't even really catch up to me until I have a base. Um, but we will be making a base. Terraria stream when? I don't know. Not for a while. Um, I'm going to stream this for a bit. I'm going to alternate between this and then the other mod that I'm working on for streams. Um, my, my pastry mod. Um... And then after that, I don't know. Who knows? Um, also, I won't be able to stream uh, Friday or this coming weekend or uh, Monday. Um, Thursday, I'm driving out to Maryland to go visit some of my old friends from... Uh, high school and college and whatever i got a bunch of people i know out in maryland that i'm driving like 10 hours to go see if i do a terraria stream i should invite you i really don't know ter terraria very well so if i did a terraria stream i would need help Ooh, glow squids can the snail teleport say if the base is like a few blocks up in the air uh, no. Uh, it's, it's, it's trying for the actual regular immortal snail himself. I do try, I tried to think about how things work in real life, and real life snails can't teleport. They also probably couldn't break a one meter cube. Um, so for the most part, all he can do is walk towards me. Um... But I did have a... Th I, I, I added one way that he teleports, which is when you sleep. When you sleep, he teleports closer to you. That's the only additional way that I've added for teleporting. Oh, we better get food. So much food. Who can we eat? Oh, another village. I always need another village because it's dark out. Almost. When we find the first non-immortal snail, we basically need to find a swamp. Okay, I, I, I'm kind of upset. I added several... Um, I added several biomes that he can spawn in. Which is Swamp, Dripstone Cave, uh, Mangrove Swamp, and um, the Mushroom Fields. But... He... Uh, what's it called? Why am I blanking now? I just blinked out. Um, so, Mushroom Fields can't spawn hostile mobs, period, even if I set them to go there. So, that's kind of annoying. That's just like, I just wasted that, you know. That would have been really cool. And then, um, Dripstone Caves can't spawn peace... Well, not hostile mobs. They're, like, kind of set to only be able to spawn one kind of mob, and it's just the mushrooms. So, it's like, he can't spawn there because there's a check that says you can't... And that's it. And I'm just like, lame. Um, so pretty much just swamps. And dripstone caves, you need a certain light level for passive mobs to spawn. And dripstone caves very rarely are going to reach that light level. So he's not going to be able to spawn there most of the time. Even if I told it to, basically. Um, and then... Can the snail climb up walls? That is a negative. I really wish it could. Um, at this point, that's just not feasible because, um, it's not something that I can easily code in with the program that I'm using and it's like, I'm not really coding. So it's, it's just tough. I wish I could. I, I really do, but I can't, um, it's not within my skill set. Um, uh, maybe someday when I learn or I get somebody to help me figure it out which i had somebody help me um fix most of the bugs and um i don't want to just be like you make it climb 
I kind of did a little bit. I just kind of asked, like, hey, how would you do this? And he sent me code for it to climb. Or, like, M Creator assets stuff for it to climb. Also, I slept, didn't I? I did. And I didn't see the snail spawn. He's here somewhere, and I can't see him. I need to leave. But, yeah. Dude, look at you guys calling out the number of people in, in watching. Oh my god, 40 people is a lot. Welcome, everyone. We're we're playing the Immortal Snail mod, and you can't see the Immortal Snail because I ran away. <laughs> but if you, uh, you want to see future streams as well, because I'm going to do this for a while, you could join the Discord. It's in my description. y'all uh if y'all are interested oh is this an ocean i was really hoping for an ocean because with an ocean uh my inventory is already full though shoot I was going to say, with an ocean, we can get um, possibly shipwrecks. But I see a ruined portal. Um, I also might consider making an underwater base to survive the snail because I'm fully ready to cheese it. Is the snail waterproof? Um, I had two options for how to make the snail navigate. It was either underwater walking on the bottom or it was swimming on top of the water. I didn't have the ability to pick either one or like let it do both. Um, and I tested it and it basically would sink down to the bottom and then get down there. And then if you just swim above it, you're good. And so the best way to live was just to build a house over water. So I decided I'd make it so that he stays on top because if you build a house down, you still do have to face him to get up every once in a while, because you can't just live your whole life down here. So it's the best I can do. It's my first time doing most of this, so I'm figuring it out. Magma cubes drag to drag them underwater. That's true. That's true. They probably would. Okay, is there not a chest here? Lame. Where did I just come from? That way, right? Did I miss a shipwreck? Hmm. I want to avoid these little structures. They don't have very good loot, and they have a higher chance of having guys with tridents, it feels like. And we don't want that shipwreck to my right. I'm blind. That's what I get for reading chat when I should be looking for boats. A bit more to the right? I, I don't know if there's like a delay that's messing with it. There. Oh, this is what you're talking about. Nice. Very nice. Um... Let's just go up here. Hold on, hold on. I'm forgetting how to navigate these things real quick. I just looted this one, right? There's supposed to be one here too, isn't there? Okay, let's go back up and swim for air, and we'll try it again. You know the treasure map 9-9 trick? I do, I do. Two on that level, one below? Okay, 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 okay. Um. 
What do I lose for that? We don't need saplings. Wait! I'm remembering chest boats exist. One second. Please hold. Heck yeah. Oh, we're gaming. <laughs> okay. I'll just grab air, and then I'm going to go look for that other chest. You said two of them here? Is it just buried and I'm not finding it because of that? Can I post the watch time analytics? Um, Jeff Noggins asked if it freezes when you get too far away. It does not. He loads his own chunks. Am I going to kill the king snail during this stream? Oh, I don't know, man. That would take me a long time at this point. Probably not. Can I just quickly make a door? Out of the stuff I have, I can. Doors. Okay. Now let's do this. Heck yeah. Um, can it travel through dimensions? Um, you can lead it through a portal, but I found that it kind of broke everything if you let it travel through dimensions because... Um, okay, well... Is there a chest in this room? Am I doing this for nothing? Um, basically it waits for you right on the other side of the dimension portal. Um, so if you were to do that, dude, why can I not see anything? Is there anything in this room? Am I doing this for nothing? All right. I want, I want my Fulbright back. <laughs> I need to see. Oh, there it is. Just the very last place I check, you know? That's, that's how it normally goes, right? Oh, there we go. Very nice. Well worth it. We will take all of this. Um, We can wear the leather pants. Why not? Um, hmm. We can craft iron out of this. We could smelt iron. We actually have enough iron for full iron armor already. So I guess what I should do is just boat over here now. Does the snail just glide along the surface of the water? Basically, yeah. Oh, bamboo. I always love bamboo. Oh, wait. We have the treasure map as well. Okay. Let's get a little bit of bamboo. Is the goal to beat the king snail or the ender dragon? Uh, both. 
I'm gonna do both if I can in this uh, playthrough. If I can survive. Am I going to update the mod? Mod probably. I want to work on other projects, so I don't want to constantly be updating the same one. Um, but I will probably try and update it and make it better. Um, but there's going to be a point where I stop. And I don't know where that point is. If I figure out and I get climbing mechanics to work, I think I would just call it done at that point. Um, ooh, another shipwreck. And my boy has a shell, and I want one. Give me your shell. All right, it's official. I got the shell. I feel like I want to do a... I want to do, a like, an underwater base. So I've decided... You see that guy just despawn? Oh, yes. I'm so incredibly rich. I was confused. Where's my boat? Um, I'll be honest, I was looking for a swamp to try to build near. Because I do want to, I do want to have that and show that off. So I can find snails in there naturally. Yep, chunks, the chunk that the snail is in is loaded. When he steps into a new chunk, he immediately loads that one and it takes five ticks for him to unload the one behind him. So he's only loading one chunk at a time, so it shouldn't be super laggy. Um, I've gone 3,000 blocks, but he I slept recently, so he, he teleports closer when you sleep. He probably still knows where I am and is trying to get to me. But the limit is 2,048 blocks, and I can't go any higher than that. Oh, there's another shipwreck there. If you name a snail Gary with a name tag, it looks like Gary from Spongebob. I don't know exactly how I do that. It's a little complicated for my current skill set. Again, having just made a single mod and not learning anything hardly. I don't know. I'm doing, I'm doing my best. But all the little features and Easter eggs, people want like turbo added as well. I don't know how to do any of that. And it's, it like the Jeb thing. I know it's like the Jeb thing, but it's not, I, I don't have the ability to just be like, grab thing that exists in Minecraft and make it work on my thing. I don't know how to, it's, it's more complicated than that. Um, there we go. We have boots now too. The snail can't overpower the water? No. It can't. Is it forge? It is. I have a um, a plugin to help, like, that's supposed to port it to um, fabric. The only thing that breaks is the villager trades. So I need to figure that out. Um, and then I want to put it on fabric. Just because I know that there's a lot of people who you, who prefer fabric over, over uh, forge. Okay, let's go up for air. Mod looks pretty professional. Thanks, thanks. And also, um, who was it? Cybugiest, who who was in chat earlier, um, helping me out a ton yesterday. Is it easy to copy items? I have no idea. I've made all my items from scratch using the provided tools and not copying them at all because I don't know how to copy it. It's... Hello. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have a buried treasure map. Wait, is it different than this one? Do I have two buried treasure maps now? No, they're the same one. Let's follow the map. We're gonna be like pirates. It's gonna be awesome.
Those chests are weird. Yeah, I'm using M Creator. Oh, hello. How much coding knowledge did you need? So far, I have needed no coding knowledge. Um, to do more complex things, I'm going to. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to brain. Where's the thing that says where I'm facing? Facing north. We're going this way. Imagine you go back to the snail. We're the thresher. What? As a programmer, a lot of coding is just Googling it. Yes, but I... Th I, so I know how to do basic HTML and CSS front ends of websites. I can't make anything back end work on it. Um, but I've taken a class that taught me some of that. And I've used some of that for work a little bit. Um, so I understand that it is... I understand that it is just Googling stuff a little bit, but... Um, it's just... Oh, now this way. Yeah, snail is pretty far. Um, I'm at I'm at 3,400. He's probably closer to like 2,500. Ooh, there's a trident. Do I try for that? I didn't bring my crafting table with me. I want that trident. We're going to go for it. I need to get wood, though, if he's still there. What version of this? It is 1.20.1. 1. Okay, we're grabbing two logs and getting back in the water. <laughs> um... Maybe I need another log for... Okay, let's just do this. Chest, pants, helmet. Hold on, swim back up, swim back up. Um, boots. Um, this. Let's take our crafting table with us this time. And I need one more wood. I'm aware there's a creeper around here somewhere. We're going to grab a single piece of wood and leave. Yeah, snail, snail's very slow. We're not going to see him until I sleep for the most part because I've gone very far away. Um, shield. Got it. Swim up, get some air, and I'm going to get my crafting table. And then we are fighting. I don't want him to accidentally hit this. Is he still there? He is. Okay. I have sharp five on this axe. I probably two shot him. Oof, I do not two shot him. Three, okay. And the axe broke. All right, well, we didn't get it. We got to try every time we find one, just in case. Working on an eternal snail concept for the past month hey you know keep working on it it's i mean just because there's one doesn't mean there can't be more and um honestly there are several more that were made before i made mine and 
I mean, I still wanted this, so just go for it. Mine's not even, like, with, like, the popularity that the video's been getting, like, mine's still not even top on CurseForge. There's, like, there's a CurseForge Immortal Snail mod that's got, like, twice the downloads as mine. So don't let it discourage you just because, you know, someone else made something first. If it's your idea and you want to do it, go for it. You know what? I don't need these. Let's throw this out. Um, we'll take that potato, though. Maybe I do want the gold boots, actually, for when I go to the nether. Oh, wait. There should be one more, right? Another chest? Right? Maybe? Does it actually move like a mob or does it just float around? What do you mean? Like in the water? It moves like a mob. Well, so it doesn't it doesn't swim on the surface like some mobs. It kind of float well, it doesn't swim underneath. It just floats on like on the on the what's it called? Floats on the bot or on the top. Floats on the bottom. I don't even know. Brain off moment. Are all three of these maps the same? Okay, then I don't need three of them. What AI does it have? Um, whatever M Creator has is like the basic thing. So its AI really isn't complicated at all. It's just M Creator's thing mostly. Um, I don't know why I did that. I need to boat around this because all my stuff's in the boat. Boreal, it's trying, it's probably just trying to attack player and at extremely slow speed. I could tell you the, uh, what's it called? I could tell you kind of the order is like, make physical contact with player basically, like. So yeah, gold sword does like no damage. Oh, it does. But it's got fire aspects, so I'll use it for food. So there's a shipwreck over there. Is there a chest? Not seen a chest. What happens to the snail if you go in the nether? So he's supposed to pathfind to where he last saw you. Um so basically he uh What's it called? I, I don't know why I'm blanking now. Uh, basically, he could just wait by your portal, but he also does, like, look around. Wait, there's a crafting table there. I've been here. How did I double back? How did I do that? Wait, how did I do what, specifically? M Creator doesn't really have that. Um, snail moves only like a, one block every two seconds. Um, I took the speed of a zombie and I have it in half. So it's half the speed. It pathfinds to where you are currently. So it, it takes the coordinate of, of where you are. Um, but I have it set to follow uh, even when it doesn't see is the idea. So when you leave there, it, it comes after you. I don't know. I've got, like, a couple plugins and things, and that might be part of it. Oh, I passed it. It's along this beach. How do you expect it to catch up, though? Uh, when I sleep, it will catch up. F3 and G to see the chunk. F3 to look for 9, 9. Right here. I don't want to jump down there, but... 
Heck yeah. Mm, I don't really need prismarine crystals. What do I need less than TNT? Maybe rotten flesh. That's it. So the in the original lore, you get like a bazillion dollars in exchange. Um, the bazillion dollars is ten million. Um, and I figured uh, the exchange is uh, worth less than an emerald. If you look at the uh, if you look at the 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 game theory map hat video, <laughs> and go off of the pricing that he comes up with for how much an emerald is worth in real life, a Minecraft emerald. Um, that's what we're doing. So, but yeah. Okay, I don't need that on anymore. Okay, and we're set up enough. Um, I want to look for... Is any of this stackable in there? It's not. Okay, we're good. I want to look for a place to live now. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, so Matt Pat valued one Minecraft Emerald at... Um, four hundred and fifty million dollars. Um, and uh, so I think, you know, giving you a whole emerald is worth way more than what the original challenge is. So I think the value that you're getting is the fact that you're, you're Minecraft Steve and you're a god. So I said that earlier, I guess, but. And that's also your immortality, is the fact that you're Minecraft Steve. Yeah, snail can't get to you if your base is in the sky. Because um, real life snails can't fly. Um, but yeah. It's his first mod, don't judge. You can judge, man. Um, all of the, all the comments talking about how to fix it or talking about what's wrong with it is what's, you know, helped it today. It's a lot more functional now because of the video getting some success and having a ton of people watch it and, you know, I appreciate it. It's awesome. Ooh, do any of these guys have shells? That guy has a trident. Two guys have tridents. Is that too much for me to handle right now, though? Two guys side by side with tridents. They hit each other with, with tridents, right? Three... We made a mistake. Yeah, we can't do that. We're gonna die. We're leaving. Go back or scared? This is hardcore. I am scared. Two drowns ain't nothing on X. I I have three. There are three with with tridents. There's no way. Uh, the snail cannot climb. It's something I don't know how to do yet. Someday I would love to do that, but sorry. No no snail climbing yet. What would be mean is if the the snail could ride phantoms to fly. That'd be that'd be actually hilarious. I have, I have 1.99 subs right now. 1.99k. That's crazy. It just seems like hardcore, but I leave the snail behind. It is hardcore, but I leave the snail behind for now. When I build a base, it won't be. Um, but he is definitely just behind right now. 
He's being left in the dust. Like a scrub. 2k? You're saying we reached 2k? Bro. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at live subscriber count. Do y'all want the live subscriber count on, on stream? <laughs> um, bro, okay, hold on. For one thing, it needs to update. It's gonna take a second. And for another, I have to make it wider because it doesn't fit, LOL. Okay, it's gonna take a second to update because I just turned it on. Now we're there. Oh, wait, we need that on. Oh, I just, I just unupdated it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna move that over. There we go. We got it set up, it's up there. There we go, exactly 2000 though. Oh my God. This is awesome. <laughs> Thanks everyone. This is great. Oh man, tons of mobs here, of course. We're just trying to we're just trying to get a bed real quick though. Oh, a camel. Can you believe I've actually never seen a camel in game yet? Like in just survival. Child, leave. I need your bed. Two two thousand sub was me. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I don't have a saddle, but I'm taking a bed. We're taking a green one. Snail still spawns in peaceful. Oh yeah, hold on. Where is the snail? It should have teleported here. If it didn't and it's bugging out, I'll be a little concerned. Okay, let me let me turn cheats on again to check if it's still loading chunks. Oh shoot. He unloaded. Dang it. We gotta go find him. <laughs> yes, it does teleport when you sleep. Um, I need to figure out how it unloaded. Oh shoot. I really need to figure out how it unloaded. Because I need to fix that. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Um, man, hold on. So now we gotta go back. We're 4,000 blocks from spawn. We gotta go back and find him. Babysitting the immortal snail. <sighs> I wonder actually um let me see I'm gonna pull up M creator real quick you guys won't be able to see this but I need to see maybe maybe it unloads him before he teleports and I need to do it backwards um how do you respawn the snail uh, with commands. It's the only thing. Um, just please hold. Um, shoot. Yep, that's it. I unloaded him and then tried to teleport him. I have these backwards. Um, so we're gonna need to push another update today. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now, though. 
Oh shoot, that's because, right, hold on, let me save and quit so it doesn't keep playing. What happened? I just came back. Um, I have a command backwards, and um, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just set this to here so you guys can actually see what's going on, so I'm not, you're not just like blank screen. Um, what I had was a command to unload chunks and then go here. But he unloads chunks on his own, so it was a redundancy, and it was making him unload and then make the teleport command not work. So I need to save this, and I need to I need to build the workspace again, export it, and then I'm gonna paste it in there. Um, it takes roughly like 30 minutes for the uh, Curse Forge update to go through, so I'm gonna keep playing as is. I'm going to go look for the snail. And then, uh-oh, the snail's here. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Not going to lie, you ain't got nothing on me, he says. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Okay. So, we got to click this. It's checking all that stuff off. That's to uh, uh, run the... What's it called? It's regenerating the code so it can get rid of redundancies and problems. Um, this is to clean up assets and things so that it's cleaner. And then I'm just going to go workspace, export for distribution. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Actually, before I do that, I have to go in here. I have to update the mod number 1.0.4. And then we go workspace, export for distribution. Um, we're not donating this time. And we're just going to dump this in my downloads and save and then we're gonna have to oh yeah i had this up um I'm sure you guys love watching this happen me managing my mod in the actual thing um upload file environment client it can be server but it works best client forge 1.20.1 um, change log, uh, snail, uh, uh, I'm just gonna say bug fix. Okay, and dismiss. Where is the, where's the actual file? Okay, there we go. Downloads, 1.4. What am I missing? Big fix, let's say bug. Release type, release. What am I missing? Why is it not letting me hit upload? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, so this is going to be processing. We can check back on it. I will update it the moment it is working. Um, but until then, I just closed out of this, didn't I? Um, we can close that. I gotta open Curse Forge again. Did I see what you sent in the Discord? I uh, have Discord kind of turned off while I'm streaming at this point. Um, here we go. My M creator is so fast. I, you know, I built a computer, so it's pretty awesome. I don't know why I made that big. I hate having that big. Okay, game is launched. We close this. We go back to this. And I can change the screen chat capture to automatic so you guys can see it without the top bar, and we're good. Try turning on cheats and spawning him in with a command. But I don't want to spawn him in with a command um, to add a new one. Like... I need to fix the one that's there because I don't want to have two in my world. <clears throat> so. Um, we're going to go get him. We're going to go look for him. We're looking for my boy. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
You can eat the snail. Yes. But not not right directly now. I can't eat the snail. Is the snail unable to accept bribes because of its honor? Yeah, basically. Meet me at spawn. I'll be there in 16 days. <laughs> um, the problem is... Well, what I should do is um, I need to I need cheats on because I need to check. Um, this will tell me if the snail's been loaded. What if you put the snail in a boat? Then he stays stuck until you uh, you sleep. So yeah. I, wait, hold on. I don't know if they're important to you, but I figured it's probably a few frames on somebody's computer. Is that like a fix for, for something? Cyboogiest? That you sent me? What about flying snail, which can only be spawned? Hold on, let me... Oh, I didn't mean to minimize that. Just trying to put chat more on top. I didn't see my message. You'll send it. You'll send it again. A way to load chunks without commands. Ooh, that's awesome. I mean, yeah, I I'd love to load chunks without the force load command because there are people who use the force load command for their farms. So like, I don't want to. I don't want to like ruin like exclude anybody who's like you know force loading a snail but yeah or like force loading his farm i don't want to like exclude them from being able to play look at that guy doing a spin good on him okay no chunks loaded so we still haven't found him Farm isn't really a farm if it uses commands, but there are people who do like big redstone stuff and, and just, you know, whatever. It's just, people play the way they want to and I don't want to be like, yeah, yeah no, you can't use this because I, I will break all of your commands, all of your stuff you set up. So I know there are people who play like survival with cheats, but not creative. It's like they can use commands, but just not go into creative or like slash give. So, yeah. It'd be cool if the snails multiplied over time. LOL. I don't know about that. Had to code it, but mCreator sees it as a procedure, so you won't have to mess with any coding. Ooh. Nice. I don't know. We could look at it after, maybe, but it's just... <laughs> For now, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, stream my, my snail mod real quick. Make a farm of immortal snails. I can't even. I was watching. I was watching somebody today already playing uh, Skyblock with it, and then he was testing making a door with using it. I'm like, come on, dude! I did all this to make an immortal snail. You gonna make a door with it? Ugh, of course. Gonna leave the questions to you for a bit. Okay. What? Ramiel, what are y'all? What are y'all putting Ramiel in here for? What's going on? No chunks loaded. Come on, snail, where are you at? I know you're here somewhere. Do I need to leave my boat and then come back to it? Or can I get around this way? Can't you just trap the snail? If so, then just need five blocks, then boom, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah. Um, but also, that's true to the original lore. You are you are allowed to trap the original immortal snail, so it's not like that's something that I'm like, I need to make sure it can't be trapped. Oh, look at that. There's one of the trail ruin things. Trial, whatever. Not trail ruins. Trail ruins? Yeah. Could the immortal snail break bedrock? No, he doesn't break any blocks. 
but he does teleport closer, so he will escape your traps when you sleep. So if you choose to never sleep, then by all means, you will have no snail, and you'll be fine. Okay, there's a village. Did I go to that village? Is he there? Because I slept in villages before this. Someone hacked into your email. You're kind of scared. Someone got one of my emails a while ago. It was a... Uh, it's, it's one of the old ones I used when I was a kid for gaming. So I, I really wasn't like careful with where I put that email address all over the place. And my password was bad because I was a kid. And, uh, yeah. It is a little scary. This isn't a terrible idea, is it? Can I just boat through that, or does it sink? Oh, we're good. I have to go to work in, like, 30 minutes, so I'll send the code to you. If you want to wait until tomorrow, I can help with it. Okay. I mean, I can wait. I can wait till tomorrow. I'm... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it this way for now, doing this thing. But, uh, welcome everyone. Remember to be PG-13 respectful. Look at that. Yes. Does a snail cross water? It does. Uh, it swims pretty slow, though. So... I don't really have a choice on its swimming speed because it's not like a water mob. Okay. We're just going to keep following the boat closer to spawn. Or following this river. Go watch Evangelion. I, I have, I've seen it. I've seen it. Popping in snail. Cool. Thanks for make. Bye now. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, man. Let's see. Did it despawn or is it unable to? Um, he loads his own chunks, but I have a command that was a redundant command that messed up and uh, unloaded his chunks. So he is despawn. He doesn't despawn, but he is he is unable to move currently. We are going to rescue him right now. We're looking for him. Bit of a random question, but if you made a giant enemy spider mod, how would you do it? There's a size command in um, in Minecraft now, so it would probably be better just to do a data pack instead of a mod. Can the snail read? Can you trick it into placing signs saying they're not there? I don't know, man. Chat has been chatted in chat by a chatter. Yep. Basically. Gotta go to sleep. Sleep well, man. Have fun. Don't don't get haunted by the immortal snail. It's not really a good plan. In general. Okay. Ugh. Gotta switch back to this mode. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, we're good. Just checking again. Okay, he didn't. He didn't. Re he didn't teleport closer to me by some miracle. Can it follow you into the Nether? It can technically. Um, but when you enter the Nether, it kind of lose track, loses track of you, and so it kind of just goes to where it thinks you were, kind of. So yeah. Um, basically, it's most likely to just be hanging out near your portal when you come back. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of those coordinates because that's where all my stuff is, and I'm gonna go look for the snail on foot from now. Okay, boom, picture taken. Um, 
let's figure out what things I need on me right now. It's going to be like food and things to make food for the most part. Um, Yeah, we're probably good, actually. Let's just go. Okay, still zero. Can you hide from the snail underground? Um, once it sees you, it knows where you are from af like until like basically it just knows where you are at all times. Um, the hard limit that I'm unable to go higher than or that I'm unable to push up is two thousand and forty eight blocks. So he can't see you past two thousand and forty eight blocks. But I had him set to load chunks. Um, so yeah, he should be okay. Um, we might need to go all the way back to the first village that we like found. Are you now an immortal or no? No. I have immense power as Minecraft Steve, but I'm not technically immortal now. I thought it'd make the game kind of boring if you were immortal to everything else. So basically, uh, only the snail got the good end of this deal. Is the snail happy? I don't know. You've tried the mod with creative? What mod? This one? It still kills you in creative because it uses... It, it basically uses slash kill to kill you. Um... Because I didn't want it to break your armor if you died. Okay. Only like 1,200 more blocks to go. Still no loaded chunks. No force loaded chunks, I should say. Where is my boy at? Also, we can check if... Uh, I'm just tabbed out super quick to check if it's been approved. It is. It has been approved. Okay. Does a snail load chunks? Is it following you right now? It loads chunks. I had a bug with the system. So it unloaded his chunk and he wasn't able to move. And so we're going back to find him. And I, I have the bug that just got fixed. I just pushed it live. It just got done. We're gonna we're gonna go to here, screen one now, so you guys can still see what I'm doing. Uh, we can close with this. Um, Curse Forge. That's the list of fixes that I've made. Totally make an Easter egg that makes the snail lightning fast when you rename it to Turbo. I don't know how to do that. There are several things here. Update. Heck yeah. And play. Okay, we have that fix. Now he shouldn't be unloaded when we when we sleep. But we do still have to find him. Just, you know, fixing bugs on, on on the air, live. Just a thing I've been saying, but hear this. What if the snail could get stronger over time, like it grows wings? I don't know, man. I, I feel like that's a lot, you know? It's a lot of things that... We don't want the snail to, like, be so overpowered that you can't, like, do anything. When will the update come? I just pushed an update right now. There's a bunch of bug fixes. I've got them. I've got them in a comp or in a in a. Uh, I read the word compass and, and almost said it. I've got them in a comment. In the uh, original video, the list of all of the the fixes. 
so. But the update is on. Uh, hold on, we still need to open the land because we do still need to do the force load check. Okay. He's not loaded yet. We're going to find him. I'm sure he's close. Snailometer ran smoother off the tongue. You guys want a compass that checks him? I bet that that's possible using a similar, like, <clears throat> excuse me, the voice crack, using a similar, like, plugin as, like, the dream, like, compasses that check for, uh, players. Oh, he's loaded. We got him. He's in. Um, where, though? Where is he at? He's here somewhere. Cause I, I need him to see me. So it, it, it doesn't work unless he sees you in direct line of sight. So he won't follow me until he sees me. You guys are saying behind you, and I don't know if you're screwing with me or not. <laughs> he still hasn't moved. So he's here somewhere. Why am I going to the snail? Because a bug of mine broke it. So he doesn't know where I am and he doesn't follow me. And I need him to follow me. Because that's the whole point. I fixed the bug now. And it's kind of lame if I just am like, yeah, no, he's just broken and doesn't follow because my, my mod was broken. And so I'm, I'm, we bug fixed on the fly, pushed it live through CurseForge, updated it, and now we're here and I need the snail to be following me again so we can resume the idea. Because the whole point was to have the snail be able to move, you know? There he is. Does he see me? That's the question. He sees me. He 100% sees me. Heck yeah, there he is. Alright, well, back about our business. We're going back to where our chest is. <laughs> um, you know what I should do, actually... Let me make sure I'm a little bit close to him. I'm gonna log in and out so I can have uh, um, I can have cheats back off because I don't want cheats on. Because there's no need for it. We're doing hardcore. No cheats. Okay, and now he definitely sees me, right? Does he turn towards me? He does. Okay, and we're leaving. There's the boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we got him we got him loaded again we're good heck yeah back about our business um we gotta go find our chest again our chest boat because it has all of our things oh my god so let's not let's not talk about edging in chat I'm going to time you out. This chat needs mods. It does need mods. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go. That works. 
Those people with the wrench thing aren't mods. Other people, other mods in chat right now? Yep, so I'm not watching chat completely. Um But yeah. If I don't if I don't see an inappropriate message That's just Can you build a safe space in the air? Yes, you can. And just to, you know, reiterate, he teleports closer at night, so You just gotta make sure that it doesn't have any, uh, anything where he can teleport to you. What's the mod? Uh, it's just the Immortal Snail mod. If you look up on, on CurseForge, it's there. What if the snail killed you at your bed? Um, so there is a, like, a respawn immunity. Actually, that probably doesn't work. Yeah, you might get camped if it kills you at your bed, so, good work. Dual GPU PC, it's more like a workstation. Uh, my PC is built with, like, graphic design and video editing in mind, for the most part. Um, so, I mean, I've got, like, my, my, my best part of my PC, I built it myself, is the, the motherboard. I have an Asus ProArt motherboard. Um, and I'm just nerding out about stuff. My, my, my graphics card is, like, a $300 graphics card. And I don't know all the details of it because what mattered more to me was was let me get the Pro Art motherboard and a pretty solid CPU. So, can you put the mod in the description? Probably. Let me let me see. Um. Uh, edit video, is this right? Yeah, yep, yep. Um. Here's the mod link. So I'm typing, paste, save. I will also paste it in chat for you guys. Oh, shoot, hold on. I closed my chat accidentally. Gotta pull that back up. One second. Um, your channel, this, perfect. All right, we're back. Hello. <laughs> All right, and let me close that now and back to game. We're good. I did turn off land, right? Yep, yeah, I did. Um, let me, I guess it's getting n nighttime. I'm going to sleep up here. Going to go play the mod. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Survive the snail. If you can. All right. We're sleeping. Would it work on multiplayer? I haven't been able to really test it on multiplayer. All of the regular single player functions should work. It should only spawn one snail per world though. You can use commands to spawn additional snails if you want. Oh, there he is. He showed up. It works. Cuz it didn't work before. That was that was the part that broke before. Um I believe whichever player it sees first, it will chase until it can't see them and then if it sees somebody else, then, you know, it is there. How much RAM do I have in my PC? Uh, I believe 32 gigs. Uh, it's the first thing I'm going to upgrade is I'm going to I'm going to boost that up to 64 uh, soon. Maybe not soon soon, but like it's the next thing I'm upgrading. Um, I got a 12 core AMD uh, 9 whatever. I don't know what the words are, but I know that there's a 9 in there for my CPU. Um, but again, I, I went I went more of let me get the more expensive CPU and uh, motherboard because 
I do graphic design and video editing, so. 1.20.1, 1. yes. Remember to stay hydrated, drinking plenty of water. I will drink water right now. <sighs> Wait, hear me out. I'll try to <laughs> play this mod and watch your stream, lol. I was going this way, right? I'm not like doubling back now all of a sudden. Yeah, no, we're good. Does the snail swim? Uh, yes. Uh, not very well. But he does swim. Uh, let me pull up my coordinates again for where the chest boat was, because I need that. 1725, negative 228. Okay. Oh, it's just at this village, probably. Can it survive lava? Yes. He takes no damage. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can the snail speed run the game? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Does he survive the void? Um, so the void is a weird one. Um... I had him immortal, so he would just drop and be forever falling in the void, not taking damage. Um, so I've changed it now so that instead of just falling forever, he teleports back to world spawn. Um, that makes sure that he teleports to a loaded chunk, and the next time you sleep, he will teleport to you again. So dropping him in the void gives you a break until you sleep, basically, unless you're going back to spawn. Now, if you do the dragon fight and you happen to get him in the end with you and you drop him in the void and then you kill the dragon and you don't have a spawn set, you will land straight on him probably and just die. So I'd say take that as a word of warning. <laughs> if you don't want to die, you know. Um, I was really hoping to find a swamp. I'm not finding a swamp. Because I want regular snails. What if you break bedrock or spawn chunks? On spawn chunks? You could you could theoretically make him permanently fall over and over and over again into the void. Yep. I guess that's what you get for trying to cheese the snail. Um, so he would fall forever until you slept and then he would uh, he would stop falling. Because that's the thing is is when you sleep it's the that's like the function I've made for it to uh, uh, break out of any trap or cheese you try to do. So, Can you just trap him? Yes. And in the original Immortal Snail thing, you could just trap him. If you don't sleep, he stays trapped for as long as you don't sleep. So if you're good with like 40 phantoms showing up at night because you haven't slept for the past 80 days, that's, that's you, you know? Whatever you want to do. So, uh, doubling back is not fun because I know he's still coming for me. He could be like anywhere. Dang it, that's the villa village I was just at. How did I get past here? I was I was in like ocean from here. Can you send the snail to space? You could teleport it places. So, kind of. You just teleport it really high up. You just slash TP, send it straight to the Far Lands. <laughs> Can the snail fly to the moon? Not on his own. See, there he is. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. I got places to be. <laughs> it's a little drive-by. He also unloads uh, uh, visually because he's so small. But yeah. Do I play any games other than Minecraft? I do. Um, I mean, I don't play a ton of games. I kind of focus on one at a time for the most part. I, I played through Baldur's Gate, Elden Ring. Um, I played World of Warcraft for a long time, like recently, like for several years. I haven't played for a couple months now. Um, 
I don't know. I mostly like the... I, I play Stardew Valley. I mostly like the, like, open world type games where you can just do whatever you want. So Minecraft is, like, the ultimate form of that being a sandbox game, but... I really like games with RPG elements. I love RPGs. Uh, Baldur's Gate is probably... If it's not number one, it's my number two favorite game. And it's probably tied between Baldur's Gate and Elden Ring. You should do so you can't trap him. Because the original, you couldn't trap him forever. Um, the original never says a whole ton of rules. I went back and listened to it because I, I, I had people saying whatever... Um, about it and I was like I went back and listened and the original is literally like you have money what do you do and you can trap it you're, you're so allowed to trap it where is the ocean there was an ocean that I found my browser's just default edge I have a regular PC without modifications so it might take a while to type my reactions where do you even find the original look up Look up um, Immortal Snail Rooster Teeth. That's how you find find it. That's the first time anybody asked the question and, 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 and did anything with it. At least as far as I know, that's the original. Um, and the amount of money is $10 million. And you're immortal and a snail's immortal and coming after you. Which, to me, $10 million is not enough. But yes. People actually use Edge. Uh, are you using Edge because you can't download anything else because your computer's, like, not really good, or? Or is it, like, a personal choice? Because I've heard people use Edge because Chrome sucks in terms of, like, it, like, slows your computer way down and uses up way too much, like, memory and stuff. Theoretically, whatever you trap him in will decay over hundreds of years, so trapping him wouldn't work forever. Correct. And uh, my mod uh, lets you trap him until you sleep. So if you never, ever sleep, then uh, basically that uh, is true. But uh, most people are going to sleep every once in a while. What is this? What? It's weird. Okay, we're going the other way. I'm a Chinese spyware main, not gonna lie. If I look up the mon name on CurseForge, will I find it? Yes, and I just put it in the description. Um, and I could paste it in chat, actually. There it is. Use Edge because my Wi-Fi went out using Opera GX. Huh. I haven't tried Opera GX. I hear it's really good, and I just... You know... I'm good with Chrome at this point. It doesn't bother me to have Chrome. Is it still chasing you? How far is it? Uh, there's no way to tell how far it is. Uh, but it should still be chasing me. I'm I'm within the 2,000 blocks. 2,048 block limit for him to like not be chasing But Opera's top tier, I heard they sold your info. Yeah, but I don't know. To me, I I don't I mean I get the privacy thing, but like, you know, it is what it is. Why is the sun round? The sun is round because I have a texture pack that makes it round. I do uh, I use um, vanilla tweaks. They're pretty awesome. They have a whole bunch of like customizable stuff of like picking what you want. I have, like, all the grasses and things animated, and the water has, like, waves a little bit. So. A one-pixel line is more important than who I sell my data to. Yeah, basically. Once you leave the block radius, does he stop chasing? Um, I haven't extensively tested this. He is supposed to, when you leave the block radius, um, teleport... Not teleport. He's supposed to continue moving to your last known position. Like, it's supposed to keep going when you don't see... Like, when he doesn't see you. So, he should keep coming closer. So, yes. He does still, like, move and do stuff. But if you get far enough away that he can't even do that, then he will stay and he'll wander around in his area. He loads his chunks, but yeah. 
the search bar on my curse won't work? Well, click the link in my description. It should pull it up. I think I've been here. I've seen that. I was really hoping to like find an ocean and, and skirt the edge of the ocean until I find... Um, what's it called? Until I find the... Like a swamp, because I really want a swamp. Swamps are where the regular snails spawn, and I, I need to live next to a swamp, because I want to show off the whole mod. So, that's the that's the main goal here. Hold on, let me, let me click out of that. Okay, perfect. Look at all this jungle. Just sell your data to Belgium. Okay. <laughs> Watch the stream for an hour instead of doing my homework. Yeah, go do your homework, dude. Oh, is that a shell? I guess the axe is better than the gold sword. Oh, jeez. This lag is a little interesting. Okay. We got another shell. Heck yeah. Do snails spawn in all swamps? They spawn in, in both uh, regular swamps and mangrove swamps, yeah. I also set them to spawn in mushrooms, but uh, Minecraft just doesn't let that happen. And they're set to spawn in dripstone caves, but they have to have natural light in the dripstone cave to spawn. So it's a very rare chance in a dripstone cave. But yeah. As a woman that dude offended me, I'm going to cancel you on Twitter. Okay. Let me click out of that real quick. Perfect. Interesting. I love talking about my browser political opinions in a Minecraft stream. Yeah. It's the best place to talk about it, really. Wait, did I already do this? I did. We dropped that. We don't need it anymore. Ooh, there's Badlands. That's fun. Do I go live over there? Let me go, let me boat around a little bit more first. So there's another way I could tell you about the things I'm gonna do with the snail other than watch the stream and play. So mine's gonna lag out because the stream is open. Uh, maybe you could watch the stream on your phone? I don't know. I don't know, man. I probably haven't been to this boat. Try lowering stream quality? Yeah, you probably could do that. This is the village I was at when I realized that the snail hadn't spawned, so anything past this is new. Got it. Did I loot this? I didn't. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need a poppy. Don't need poisonous potatoes. I guess I don't need these planks. Okay, mm well, that's enough for me to get all the stuff from there, so let's do that. Because coast armor trims is kind of fun. Um, I guess I'm going to sleep here and then keep looking. Every second you're not running, he's getting closer. I know, and then I sleep and make him actively come even closer. Alright. Uh, so when you sleep, he spawns way up in the air. He should... Yep, there he is. Alright, friend. I brought you a little closer, buddy. Good luck. Uh, 
Oh, desert. Desert means I'm not going to find swamp here, isn't it? Technically, the way the best way to beat this snail is to never sleep. Uh, yeah, basically. I don't know. It's it's the way that I thought made the most sense because, like, you know, when you sleep, time passes, so it's like kind of like you wake up and he catches up to you because you were sleeping and 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 time passed. That's what I figured. Jump over the snail if you're a true man. No, I know his reach. I, I, I know exactly how big his reach is, and I know you you risk it. It is possible to jump over him. I could probably do it with a, uh, like, 5% success rate. Or success chance. Bro, look at all this. It's so colorful and bright with Fulbright on. Finally got it downloaded. Nice. Does the snail sleep? No. He's immortal, so he doesn't need to. <laughs> Man, this really is awesome. I should have I should have tried to run this with shaders. An oil rig would look great there. Oh no. Hold up, do normal snails sleep? I don't know. So are you though? Yeah, but you know, again, you don't have to sleep. I'm choosing to sleep. There's no, like, sleep mechanic that forces you, or, like, tired tired mechanic that forces you to sleep. Is there a way to trap the snail even while you sleep? Um, so you could make a base that includes traps, and when you, when you sleep, it teleports nearby and then falls into the trap. Or gets trapped. You could, you could put a ton of boats around you and then fall asleep. Oh, there's a little desert well. Googled and they do sleep, but it's more like napping than normal sleep. Interesting. Wait, so if it's in a boat, it can't move? Yeah. Um, I was trying to make a system of making it kill the boat or blow up the boat, um, but it, it, didn't, it didn't work, and I don't know how to fix that, and so uh, you can trap it in a boat. Um, just like you can dig two blocks down under it and trap it um so i mean there's a lot of very simple ways to trap it because of how minecraft is made um okay, okay we're gonna need to come back to that but i wanted to check out this village actually this is a kind of cool mountain i might live in a little mesa i'll be down for that Immortal beast versus five wood. Can't you just trap it then? Yes. Um, and I have a system of having it wake up, or not wake up, um, having it teleport closer to you when you sleep. So you can just trap it, but there are ways for it to get back out of any trap you put it in. It will trap, it will get out every time. I already looted that, huh? There's 60 people watching, but only like four or five talking. Hey, that's fine. I I honestly, I watch streams and I don't talk in them for the most part. Can it climb walls like a spider? No. I don't know how to do that. It's fairly complicated, and I'd have to like rewrite his AI myself instead of just using the, the system that I have or the plugins and stuff that I have. Um, and I don't know how to code, so I'm. this is the best I can do. Um, but yeah, in some future update, when I've learned how to do it, I do want to make the snail climb. Just use the stream as a background noise, TBH. Yeah, honestly, I, I use streams as background noise more often than anything, or, you know, most of the time if I use it for something. If I watch a stream, it's background noise. I don't need dead bushes right now. Okay. Is there ever anything up here, or is this just like a waste of my time? Well, 
Oh, there's my inventory full. Nice. I'll be unstoppable if I learn how to code. I know. I, I really need to learn it. I just haven't because I, I just... It takes time, and I wanted to just go ahead and make something to start with. I figured I could learn in phases. I could just be like, let's make a mod first, and then um, next time is like partially code, partially use mCreator, you know? Or try to figure that out, but yeah. Bro, you died of fall damage. How many hours did it take you from start to finish? Ooh, I'm not sure. It probably took me... Roughly an hour and a half for the first model of the Immortal Snail. Um, it probably took a, less than that for the other models. I don't know. Maybe, maybe something along the lines of like five hours for all the modeling and for the, you know, whatever... Um, couple hours just thinking about it and planning everything out and writing down on note cards all my ideas and sorting through them and trying to figure out systems for it and then um actually implementing it probably somewhere around 20 to 30 hours of messing with it and learning m creator along the way so i don't know maybe maybe like 40 hours as like a peak right now Half the speed of a zombie is how fast it moves. Oh, somebody already said it. Oops. I just saw that somebody asked, and I was like, I was like, oh, let me answer real quick. Yep. So M Creator has a zombie movement speed set to a uh, three. Just it just picked a number, and it was like it's three. That's how fast it moves. And uh, and so I made it one and a half. That's how fast it moves. So. Um, I guess I don't need this, and I don't really need one plank when I have four logs. But yes. Can the Immortal Snail enter portals? He's not set to specifically enter portals, but he can go into them. You can, you can lead him through it and put him to the other side. You can also, um make him enter the portal he, he can wander into it on accident he t he pathfinds to you so if you enter he could show up and be there uh when you leave or he could walk through on his own it's i haven't specifically given him a behavior relating to portals having him come to the through the portal with you when you went there was kind of complicated and most of the time he just teleported inside of a block and would be stuck um, so I couldn't figure it out, and I figured, you know what? He's just waiting when you get out. Um, he'll, he'll resume his chase when you, when you leave for the most part. Okay, now where was my boat? Oh, well, this cat is on a killing spree. Oh my god. You want to play this mod with your friends? Does the mod work with more people? It should all work. Um, you would have to... You would have... What? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the thing. Um, you'd have to spawn in uh, additional snails on your own if you wanted more snails. I see you, snail boy. Hello. All right, we're gonna go this way and check this out. Um, bread. That'll work. When's the last time I saw the snail? I saw it when I slept uh, for this morning. So, where am I from? I uh, I won't tell you exactly the state, but I'm I'm on the, I'm in the U.S. 
I'm from uh, the East Coast ish. Not really ish, but the Eastern time in the U.S. So, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm from the Midwest area. I, I don't know, it doesn't feel right to say that I'm from there, but I've lived all over the place. That's where I currently live, is in the Midwest. So. It caught you? <laughs> Stale just spawned, I'm playing the mod, bro. He's so slow in water. Yeah, he is pretty slow in water. Because it, it's like, when you're in water, it slows your speed by like another half. So he's like a quarter of a zombie walking when he's in water. Can it bake a cake? Probably not. American W. Oh, well. What happens if you just tower up with a few blocks? Can it climb then? No. I wasn't able to figure out how to do that. It's, it's going to require some skill I don't have yet. So maybe in a future update it can climb, but for now it can't. But I also don't want to spend forever working on this mod. I have other ideas to like move on to eventually. So I'm kind of just doing this playthrough while I'm also working on another mod at the same time. Um, can you just pill up four blocks and hit the king snail like that? Uh, yes. You can basically cheese him like the uh, like the iron golem, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I, I don't have an easy way to fix that right off the bat, so. I guess I should probably sleep, huh? If I reach the edge of this, let me go over here. You know what? That's a good place to sleep. Can I place blocks? No. How long do I think the series will last? If I make it a hundred days, I'll probably make a video about a hundred days, and then I might I might stop. There he is. Okay. Back to my boat, and we are leaving this area. POV of three dirt blocks. Yeah. I mean, people install that through their own will, meaning they want to play it. I doubt they'd cheese it, because then why install in the first place? I mean, you have to cheese it a little bit. So, yeah. Wait, does it teleport when you sleep? Yes. It teleports when you sleep. I like how it just flops down on the floor. Well, it's, it's very complicated to make it search for air and make sure that it's searching through the, uh, like finding a place that it can be at so i just teleported him way up in the air he's like 200 blocks up in the air and he falls and lands and then he comes after you so it also buys you a little time there's like a hundred ways to cheese it i mean uh, boat that's all you need if you really just want to cheese it just just put it in a boat and you're done dude i'm not finding a swamp i really want a swamp That's, that's going to be what my whole stream is, pretty much. It's just looking for a swamp, huh? That's how it goes. Slash locate biome. But that's not really true to hardcore, you know? If I'm just, like, using commands to help me out. I used them because I needed to fix the snail bug thing. I was using, like, the, the searching for with loaded chunks are there, but... Just walking to the sides of the... Right over and over... Of the river over and over and he ain't getting me. Yeah, he, he for some reason really doesn't want to go in the water. If you make it so he has to, then yeah. Your spawn 10. Alright. If you have too many, it does start to like lag the world a little bit. Because each one is loading chunks and is trying to load his own chunk several times. So, it's a little bit interesting. 
In a few months, I'm probably gonna get a flute for your birth for 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 your birthday. Nice. You play flute? I used to play trumpet. I haven't really played for a uh, for a long time, but it was a lot of fun. You're trying it out? Nice, nice. I bought a um I bought a trumpet that I found for twelve hundred dollars recently. I was like LOL emptying my bank account to buy this trumpet. Um because I knew I could resell it for close to three thousand. Um but then all of a sudden I had like car problems and things and I don't know. It was a whole thing and I just needed I needed money. So I was lowering the price, and I ended up selling it for twenty four hundred. So that was very nice. It's a, it's so cool having like such a nice trumpet. I mean, I didn't have it for long, but it was awesome. Plot Prot three leather boots. Also, there were a lot of comments. On the video being like, why would you wear the armor if the Snail King still just kills you? And I'm like, the armor just kind of purposely looks bad and is bad because I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> so. Where's the snail? Oh, I, I, I ran away. He's somewhere far behind me. He's at some village that I slept in. <laughs> Did I go down this way? I'm going to go around this way, I think. We're hoping to find a swamp so I can find regular snails. Oh yeah, the snail kills you in creative. He might kill you in spectator too. Get bamboo, I have bamboo. I got seven. Can you get a bucket and put a fish in it? Not right now, because I'm struggling with inventory already. Hold on, did y'all see me sh crouch in the boat and not leave the boat? I had to crouch a second time. Or, like, shift. What was that about? Okay, we hit a weird lag. A hold on. Uh okay, we gotta manage inventory. Here we go. Uh what do we need and not need? I spawned like twenty five, here we go, lol. Um, let me, hold on, let me take this to the shore real quick so I can use a crafting table. Let's craft a whole bunch of bread with that. Then one wheat left over, we can throw that out. Um, let's carry our food here, we can eat that. Iron nuggets, we can make iron bars or ingots. Um, apples. Empty maps. Paper. An obsidian. Shoot. We can put food down here too. Let's put this up here. We're putting all the things that are the most valuable up here at this point. All the stuff I want to keep. 
Oh, wait, that doesn't need its own slot. We're good there. Um, we can make gold ingots out of the nuggets. Um, this last nugget can go. Hold on, somebody said something. I don't need the second flint and steel, you're right. What was the Ask Allen? What were we saying? Is it PG-13 or family-friendly? Hey, I try not to say just things that are bad. You know what I'm saying? Potatoes and chest and inventory. Good call. Um, we'll put books up there because I like books. I like maps. I have another flint and steel even. Uh, we'll put cactus up there because I like that. Um, I don't really need fire charges. I also don't really need seeds. Those are very easy to get. Um, one leather isn't really useful to me, but we've cleared up a decent amount of inventory space. Let me put this instead of these planks. We're going to put the crossbow up here. Okay, there we go. This is all stuff that I don't want to get rid of, so we're good. Now we can we can do the rest of this. Make bread. I got a, I got enough bread. Do I have wheat and not bread? No, I got I got hay bales. That's a that's a more efficient way to store the the wheat. I hope you guys can't hear me chewing, but that's what I'm doing. I'm chewing a little bit. Okay. Weird. Can the snail go to the end? Uh, if you put it through the portal, it probably would. I don't recommend that, though. Seems like a bad idea. Hold on. We need to breathe. Oh. This mod could be just an additional thing you add besides other mods. Yeah. Heck yeah. We looted. Um, <laughs> All right, back to looking for swamp. Nice, you exploded with the mod. Congrats on 2K. Well, thanks, man. You're almost at 2k as well? Hey man, I hope you get it. It's gonna be awesome. Is it still capable of swimming or does it just drag along the ocean floor? Um, it, it, it swims on the top of the surface and it doesn't go down. Um, I figured that was a more efficient, scarier way of dealing with it, where it can actually follow you now instead of just getting stuck in trenches on the underwater. So, that's what we did. And by we, I mean me. Are you going to update the mod? I might. Uh, mostly I'm kind of in bug fix mode, and um, when I learn enough to... What's it called? When I learn enough to do the... Oh, wait, I almost left my bed. The snail climbing, that's the next update I'm doing, and then I probably won't really update it. I'll update it to go on new versions when I can. But right now it's just 1.20.1, .1, so yeah. How many subscribers did you start the stream? Um, like 19 something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not keeping track. They were all, they were, they were saying the sub count in, in chat. So I figured I'd pull it up.
But yeah, conduit plus underwater. It, <clears throat> that is the plan. Got the heart of the sea and, then, and two Nautilus shells so far. So that's kind of part of why we're sticking to water is because if we find a swamp connected to this water um, and we find guys with uh, Nautilus shells while we're at it, then it's like a win-win. But yeah. Does that guy have a Nautilus shell? No. I should be in F5 boating. I forget about that. Nautilus shells. Um... What about the Prismarine? Uh, if I find an ocean monument, I might I might grab some Prismarine and run. How much do I need again? It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, plus 9. I need like 40. I, if I just grab like 40 Prismarine, I should be good. I've ran so far, it ain't coming. How fast is the snail? It is half the speed of a zombie. Do you have milk? I do not. Oh, that's true. I might not be able to get that many blocks without milk. Hmm. Okay, hold on. If I follow this path, we left, we left like the warm area. Oh, hold on. Bro, I'm underground and the snail's above me and I'd be cheesing. <laughs> Where the snail at? He is very far behind me. I have been boating and he is catching up. He's trying, but I boat faster than him. <sighs> so good. I'm eating blueberries right now. Blueberries are to die for. Oh my god. Oh, cherry blossom. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find a better access point closer to it. Make a hard mode, mode snail. Eh. Maybe. I'll take potential suggestions for potential future updates, but for now, the unless we find major game-breaking bugs, for now this is in its in its final-ish version. Am I planning on making a mod where I fix the progression system? I don't have the ability to make it where uh, using Minecraft's current, like or, or, or like fixing it using the ideas that I said. I don't know how to do that, uh, but it would be cool. I feel like this mod addresses one of those points I made in that video, which is like the the like early game pressure or like reason to go to the end a little bit, where it's like. You have to make progress to get strong enough to fight the immortal snail. Like, to fight the snail king. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that way, like, the snail could stop following you. But, yeah. Okay. And now I need saplings. One sapling is enough because these guys drop, like, ten saplings each for some reason. But I want two so I can replant one and then leave. Because I'm not breaking this area. Just joined. How quickly does a snail actually move? About half the speed of a zombie. That's what it is. Um, is it a pressing threat when you aren't boating or you can easily run so far? It isn't the most pressing threat um, if you live just a nomad life the whole time. Um, I don't plan on living the nomad life the whole time. I'm going to make a base, but I don't know where to make my base yet. I'm looking for a swamp so I can use the other features of the mod, but yeah. It's 
It's going to be great. Excuse me. Okay, where was my boat? Oh, there it is. Good. Um... Uh, I'm not finding a swamp here. Although maybe just giving in and living in a mountain would be fine. Can I burp more, please? No, I'm good. Okay, snail is nowhere near. Yep. W hardcore immortal snail. Okay, this is kind of cool. Honestly, this is very cool. Maybe I should just make my base here. Could you defeat the snail by having a base that doesn't touch the ground? It couldn't crawl up to get to you. Yep, you can totally do that. Oh, I don't know why I'm looking at a mountain. I'm planning an underwater base. That's how I'm planning to cheese it. No, oh, hold on. I put that there. Eh, we don't need those. Um, you're gonna cheese your own design? Yes, absolutely. Well, that's the whole point. Is is it's not. The immortal snail concept isn't how would you run away forever using the snail. Oops, I was breaking with my sword. It's how would you survive in general. And so if you find a way to trap it and cheese it, then absolutely. That's the whole point of the concept. It's how do you trap it? Basically. Um, but I did add so that it wasn't just boring and you trap the snail once and leave forever. Uh, every time you sleep, it teleports. Uh, it teleports closer to you, so it would break out of traps. Um, so there aren't permanent traps for the snail, unless you just never, ever sleep. Um... Yep, 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 yep. yep. But yeah, sky basing, building a base underwater, building a base underground where it can't reach underground works. Um, honestly, a house with iron doors <laughs> functions. Uh, he can open regular doors. I figured he should have that at least. So just be warned for those of you who are playing it at the same time. If you're like, oh, I'll just make doors since he can't break blocks, he can open the door. But yes, back to looking for. Yep, he can open doors. That was that was just such an easy one. I just had to put. I just had to like check off a box. That's can he open doors? And it was like yes, he can. It wasn't a checking off a box. It was just adding one little block to the code. So I was like, you know, he he's gotta he he has to. It's just too funny for him to not. Or, yeah, it's too funny of, a, of an idea for him to be able to open the door. I, I can't not do that. If he could insta-mine copper blocks. Why specifically copper blocks? He's really smart. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be super intelligent. Or at least as 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 much as the uh, uh, as much as like a person at minimum. Can he go over the void? Um, so he doesn't die. So I had it where he was just, you know, whatever. He he would just fall through the void and just never die. So what I've done instead is if he falls in the void, instead of being just trapped in the void until you sleep next, 
He teleports to spawn until you sleep next. Basically. So. Can you do taxes too? That'd be nice. I need him to do my taxes. It's a known fact that snails have thumbs to open doors. Oh, hey, here's a spruce forest, finally. I can't live with my without my spruce. Uh, but it's not worth taking any right now, I don't think. Maybe I just take a picture of the coordinates. He said spruce sucks. Somebody ban him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> don't ban him, don't ban him. <laughs> Have I seen the snail yet? Yes. I've seen him several times. Many times. He actually bugged out and I had to go rescue him even. Okay, there we go. We got a picture. Where is the snail? He is very far behind me because I have been boating away and I'm faster than him. He'll catch up eventually, but... Um, he catches up a little bit. He, he, he teleports closer when you sleep, so I could I could demonstrate here. Oh, oh my god, look at, look at this guy. This guy has everything. He has both of the things that I want from him. Oh, drowning. Oh, he only dropped the shell. That's fine. He's dual wielding. <laughs> uh, where is a swamp? I really want a swamp. Oh, I was going to sleep. I forgot. I'll sleep on this little sandbar to show you guys his teleport thing. How long have I been playing Minecraft? Not just the stream. How many years? Um, 2012? I think. So he teleports up in the air. And then he lands. There he is. So, he teleports in the air so he doesn't get, like, stuck on anything. But, yeah, there's the snail. He's here. Should we go swim, Should we go swim nearby him? Hey, friend. What's good, buddy? Is a rotating series of bases optimal for the mod? Um, if you want the most optimal strategy, in my opinion, if you're like, if you're like, I want to download the mod and never have to deal with the snail, build a base that's off the ground and directly under the base, there's a trap for him to fall in with a, with, with trap doors. And when you sleep, he will teleport to outside your base. He will walk towards you. He'll go under your base. He'll fall into the trap with the trap doors and then you're free to go play. And every time you sleep, just sleep there. That is the optimal cheese strat if you want one. Um, but if you're doing that much, you almost might as well not have the mod installed. I've made a starter base on a hill that is very jagged. Do I have a high chance of survival? Uh, whatever you want. Uh, you, you could survive, possibly. I don't know. I said whatever you want. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What is going on here? Do you guys see this boat? Are we, like, on a chunk border? It's made out of two different kinds of woods. We are. Look at this. That's crazy. Hmm. 
Ooh, carrots. I haven't found carrots yet. <clears throat> what am I ending stream? I'm not sure. What time is it now? Let me look. Um, I don't know. Tell you seed? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you seed. Cause I'm not gonna do slash seed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna figure it out. Okay, we're just gonna leave that boat. It's a relic. It's amazing. He's ending when he kills the snail. I don't know about that. I might. Um, my original normal stream schedule is during weekdays, and then I do whatever I want during weekends. I. Uh, I can't really commit to times during the weekends. It's whenever I'm like free if I feel up to it. But I normally stream 7 to 9, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's U.S. Eastern Time. Um, so you can look up when 9 is, if you want. Um, and then... What's it called? Or Yeah, you can look up when 7 o'clock Eastern Time is for whatever time zone you're in. Um... But I might stream till 9 my time, possibly. I am getting a little bit of a headache. I need better headphones. They kind of they kind of suck. If I I'm a, I'm going to take a headphone off and they're they're over my ears and they're, you know, it is what it is. I got a big head. It's not like a massive head, but I need to find like a special headphone for me someday. But yeah. How would the snail work in multiplayer? I imagine whoever loads in first has the snail show up around them and then it chases that person. Um, whoever sleeps first will have the snail teleport to them, though. Um, every time somebody sleeps. I don't know anything else other than that because I haven't been able to test it for multiplayer. Am I ever going to do a face reveal? I feel like I don't want to do a face reveal because... Um, I feel like I'm not hiding my face. I just don't have a face cam. So, I don't know. I probably won't do a face reveal. But, yeah. How old am I? I'm 25. And the water is so clear because I have Fulbright on. So you guys can see at night. Or in caves, if I ever go in a cave. and trollins here welcome <laughs> i'm gonna call out a couple people but i can't welcome everybody because i'm looking at i'm looking at my game more than my my chat more spruce nice i do want swamp though yeah, let's let's not talk about being high in chat. We gotta keep it gotta keep it clean, you know. We don't need we don't need to talk of that right now. There's dark oak. So I wanted to come a little closer and see if I could see like a, a mansion just for fun, but I'm not seeing it. Oh well. said narc what does a snail break shields uh yes maybe the king snail breaks shields the snail uh just kind of he basically slash kills you upon touching your 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 hitbox so even if you have him trapped and he can't technically reach you if you make your hitbox touch his hitbox you will you will uh 
have problems. Oh, hold on a second. Margo. Margo. Sorry, my dog is getting into something plastic over there. Yeah, stop that. Come here. And we don't want her eating anything plastic sounding. Um, does the snail work in unloaded chunks? It does. I just made an update today that makes it work in unloaded chunks. Uh, it actually doesn't work in unloaded chunks. I made him load chunks so that he doesn't go away. Um, he moves at about half the speed of a zombie. How much damage do he really do? He is set to do 10 damage, but if his hitbox made, makes contact with yours, um, he slash kills you, basically. It's as if he slash killed you. You are dead. So he one-shots you no matter what armor you're wearing. The King Snail does 10,000 damage. Because I, you know, be careful the dog doesn't touch the Immortal Snail and dies. Well, you know, the dog didn't take the, the deal for Immortal Snail. It's only me. If my dog touches it, you know, whatever. Should probably play with it and eat it. According to my calculations, there is a 16.63 chance that you live in one of these cities. Portland, Boston, Providence, Hartford, New York City, Newark, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Baltimore, and Washington. So you just picked all the biggest things, all the biggest cities in the U.S.? Does it spawn naturally? Um, it spawns the first time you load the world. There aren't additional immortal snails um, naturally spawning. There are regular snails naturally spawning. And that's part of why we're boating around. We're looking for a regular snail. I don't know which one of those cities I'm closest to. What if you slash kill the immortal snail? Um, well then it dies. Because you slash killed it. So, I don't know what you're asking. Can you breed regular snail with the immortal? No. Trying to make like a hybrid snail babies? What's going on? Half immortal. He lives in Florida. LOL. What will happen if two immortal snails chase each other? I don't know. They, they probably won't. They're set to only be aggressive towards players. Um, and anything that damages them, they turn around and try to fight. That's I have that in there just in case some something does damage them, like through some bug or whatever. They'll turn around and kill that thing that damaged them. Um, but nothing should damage them. Okay, we are not finding a swamp. Just joined How Close is the Snail? Probably like a thousand blocks away. I've been boating for a while. Here, I'll sleep just for you so you could see him. He, uh, uh, he teleports closer when you sleep. There he is. Oh, hold on. I need my bed. He's hanging out. So, yeah, he teleports closer so you could, or when you sleep, so that he doesn't, uh, he doesn't just get, like, permanently trapped. I don't know, I don't know where he's going. Yeah, he, he's very slow in the water. 
sometimes sometimes he pathfinds when he lands in water. He pathfinds to like he just looks for like where's land and he just goes towards a land that he finds. And he has to get to the land and then start coming towards you. It's it's a little bit weird. I don't know how to fix that. So I I don't know. He's he's over there though. We're we're minding our business. And it is what it is. Um, let me see. I don't remember where I would just was. Was I here already? Hold on, do any of these guys have shells? That guy has a shell. Oh yeah, we're gaming. Okay, got some back up. Can he climb the same as a spider in a different way? He can't climb. Um, I really want him to, but I don't know how to do that. That's, it's my first time making a mod, and I don't, I don't know how to do all the things that I want to yet. So, in a future update, I might circle back and, and fix it to where he can climb, but for now, he can't. What do I need the shells for? Um, one of the ways I've decided to cheese him, I'm just going to live underwater. You saw how he was swimming up on top of the, on top of the water a second ago, or no? Uh, he doesn't dive down. That's another thing, is I wish I could do that, but, you know. Hold on a second. What's going on? Uh, Xgem, I, at this point, will trust your judgment in timing people out. Um, I'm just going to say that. Um, I didn't see the word. I didn't see anything, but you help me out, all right? I can't manage both the stream and my game at the same time right now. So if you're here and you and you want to time people out because they're spamming or you know whatever, I'll trust you on that. I wouldn't full perma ban right away. I wouldn't just ban people. I'd say time them out, and then if they come back afterwards, and you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I didn't loot the structures because look at my inventory. What am, where am I going to put the structure loot? I got to find a place to live first. <laughs> Time me out for five minutes. I got you. <laughs> so I, I'm looking for a place to live. I'm looking for a swamp because I need a swamp. But I've made a full circle of this ocean now. And I'm coming back to this big spruce area, and I'm not finding anything, so. You could travel to the nether to gain ground more quickly. I probably could. Um... But I think I'm going to just start trying to live here. This is going to be this is going to be a good spot to start with. I'll live on this beach. Um yeah, yeah. This is a good good enough spot. Let's go ahead and put this down. Let's make a couple of chests. And now we can properly store our stuff. 
Heck yeah. Can you go through portals? Um, not really. Use chunk base maybe? I, I'm not going to do that at this point. I don't want to like immediately have to use chunk base for this. I mean, I've only looked for like two hours for, for a, a swamp. I'll find one eventually. Um, let's see. Let's grab all of this stuff. Perfect. And now, um, let me take these and I'm going to make a axe. Very nice. We can put these in here and that in there. And let's start cutting down some trees. What happens if you put him in an obsidian trap? Does he break it? He does not break any blocks. He will open doors. Um, but... That's how it goes. Hey, Key Lime's here. Welcome. Um, but he does he does teleport out of traps when you sleep. So. Yo, how will the stale get you in the nether or end? Uh, he probably won't. Just being honest. It was weird having him teleport to the end when you go to the end and things like that. Um, so it's, it's strange. Snail could tank void, but not box. But in the, but in the original concept, you're allowed to trap the snail. So like, why, why is everybody upset that you could trap him? Like the whole original thing is... You could trap the snail if you want, and all of the comments and all of the ideas of, of how to deal with the immortal snail are how do you trap it so you can live your immortal life. So, it, I'm not going to make it so it's impossible to trap it. I thought you said he could open doors. He's supposed to be able to open doors, man. Might because you place blocks in front of your open door? Yeah, well, he, that might be it. <laughs> You could also probably place your door backwards so that technically when you're opening it, it's uh, it's closing it. You could probably do it that way, and that would work. Um, but we're we're just gonna casually uh, we're just gonna trap him real quick. We're just gonna make a, a trap for him, I should say. <laughs> We're just going to put a little trap for him over here. Very nice. And yes, I am cheesing my own my own mod. I am going to cheese it. But that is the whole point. Um, okay. Um, so there's the trap. And basically, we can now just play the game. Um, I want to build a bit of a house. I'm going to take down another one of these double thick trees, I think. Uh, this one, probably. Pet the snail. LOL. I can't even. Ugh, sorry, I'm... Y'all are calling out how many likes there are, and I wanted to see it, so I, I gotta go ref refresh my page. And now I'm tabbing back in. We're good. 118. Dang. It's awesome. Can't 
Can't wait for some idiot on Bedrock Edition to make a marketplace ripoff of this. I wonder if there is already Bedrock Immortal Snail. I mean, there's already several... Um, there's several Immortal Snail, like, Forge mods already on Curse Forge, so... I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's an old meme. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, inventing anything new here. This is a long time ago. I just made my own spin on it. Timeout evader? What? What are we talking about? Spammers and alt? I'm not seeing a spammer. What's going on? Where you burn the diamonds. When do I burn the diamonds? I did it yesterday, man. We already burned them. There's the, uh, uh... We, we made a diamond with your name on it, if I remember correctly. Um, let's just stack, stash some of my wood in there. Alright, we're sleeping and we're going to trap that snail real quick. Alright, where's he showing up? There he is. Alright, buddy, come here. Come and get absolutely wrecked by too deep hole. <laughs> Snails models are cute. Thanks, man. You feel sad for the snail? Don't. He's trying to kill me. He's trying very hard to kill me. Don't feel sad for him. I'd love to try to make an immortal snail with commands. That'd be interesting. You can also download the mod if you want. I already made an immortal snail if you want. <laughs> give the snail some food. All right, we'll give him. We'll give him two mushrooms. How's that? And if we come back in in five minutes and they're gone, we can assume that he's that he's eaten them, right? I'm a bedrock player, sadly. Ah. Close the trapdoors. Nah, he, he can't escape even with them open, so it's just fine how he is. I'll just leave it be. Um, Yes, there's my strange boat. I forgot about that. Okay. Now. We gotta build a house. Let me think here. Gonna do a quick think. Hmm. I think maybe just my starter house can be out here. He he, <clears throat> he needs the sunlight, so keep it open. All right. Can I sleep? No. The weather definitely ruins the bit rate of stuff. So hold on. Um, what if I just temporarily bring this down to fast, um, and then take off this? Maybe that'll help you guys' lag on this. Um... Let's just start clearing out some of this. Actually, what I should be doing is mining. I need to just, just build a small house and then go mining. Ooh, I want to build with mossy cobble, actually. Oh, my God. I haven't done this in a while. I should make snail soup. French mushroom and escargot. YouTube ran by... <laughs> Multi-million dollar company cannot handle video game rain. Yep. He 
He needs the light and water. He actually doesn't need anything. He's immortal. Okay. Am I a good builder? Is that what you're asking? Uh, I, I'm a decent builder. I'm a decent builder. If I can be humble about it, you know, I might, I might say I'm all right. You know, if I could be so bold. Why is the snail trying to get you in the first place? Oof you in the first place? I don't know. I don't know why he's after you. I, you know, I was thinking about it when I was making him. I was like, I was like, is the snail just like an actual constant pain? <laughs> like, does he have to do this because it just hurts to be? Has he been immortal for so much longer and all his loved loved ones are dead? Something to think about, you know. I want everybody to feel bad about this. Because I killed the snail's father. That's probably it. Just hungry. You're right. Okay, let's see. What would a snail do with a million dollars? He'd uh, try to kill us. He's like Saitama and he's looking for a worthy foe, lol. Probably. That that checks out. You can lower the obtrusiveness of the rain. Oh, I thought you meant in like settings. I was like, oh, let's do that. Maybe what I should do is is strip mine or, or mine for diamonds while the uh while it's raining. Where snail? Hold on, let me let me finish mining this bit. I'll show you. He's hanging out. He's chilling. You know, he's down here. He hasn't eaten his mushrooms yet. He he's over there. Snail probably has some secret lore to it. Maybe. I'll let you guys decide your own uh, your own head cannons. I'm back. What all happened? I uh, I was a, a, you know I've been running around. There's a snail. It's kind of cheating. It's not really cheating because that's like the whole point of the original thing is is how do you survive the immortal snail and you're allowed to cheat it like. Uh, let's see. I need, like, a shelter immediately to not have to deal with this rain. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put all this in here. Here, I'll take this, actually. And I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go mine. So I'm gonna do. This should help our... our lag. Our stream issues. Oh, I'm gonna need another pickaxe, aren't I? Let's do that first. Use the wood for a base. Um, I guess I could just build a base. Let's just do that. Wish I could just like sleep and get rid of this rain for now, but. All right, so small house to start with. Let me think. I don't have a ton of cobble. I'm thinking multiple exits in case the snail comes after me. Um, I'm thinking 
I know exactly how his sleeping spawn mechanic works, and I don't want to say it out loud. Because I don't want to I don't want to tell you guys. That's my own special secret that you guys have to figure out. Um, but maybe just a little little circle that we live in. Gotta go, it's laggy. I will sleep the moment it lets me, and then the lag should go away. Hold on, not that one. Behind me? Oh, where? <laughs> Alright, that's kind of a vibe. That's kind of a vibe. I like the cobble walls. Do the uh, snails spawn in mangrove swamps and swamps for the most part? I should hug the snail. I'll go look at him. Hey, man, did you eat your... Look, look! Aw, oh, he ate his mushrooms. They're gone. What day am I on? I am on uh, day 13. It says 12 right here. That's how many full days have been completed, so I'm on day 13 if it says 12. Okay, sun's going down. We should be able to get rid of this rain soon. That way you guys don't have... The crazy leg. Heck yeah. Can a snail climb vertically like a wall? No, not yet. I, I really wish I could, but... I just can't right now. It's it's hard. Cool Bri Bri. Hey, welcome. <laughs> wow, bro. Congratulations on, your, on my newfound fame. Thanks, man. It's awesome. Guys, Cool, cool Bri Bri uh, did like a little... Did a raid. Um... When I was first starting streaming, and he helped he helped me get to 69 was the goal I was going for right then. So, it's awesome. <laughs> Great to have you, man. <laughs> it got out. Yep, it did. Toby. Um, how much more of this do I have? Okay, so I can make another layer or two, probably. Um... Let's do... This. And this. And this. And let's push this back a little bit. Do I have a Discord server yet? I do, I do. It's in my it's in my description. I don't know if the if the link works. I think it does. I think I updated it. Okay, and then we'll do we'll do wood for the inside down here. I guess I already have wood on me. I don't know what I was looking for. What well, we're not gonna make an ocean base? I I do want to have an ocean base, but I need a I need a temporary land base. So we're making we're making a little base here for now, and then we're gonna move to the ocean later. If I found a swamp, I probably would have looked for an ocean base right away, but I don't have I don't have the the shells yet. And I also don't have the prismarine. So it's going to take a little bit. Perfect.
You joined? Nice, nice. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I don't have like bots and stuff set up in there yet. I'm I'm still figuring out Discord. Um So yeah. Did you expect my video to blow up or was it a surprise? It's definitely a surprise. Um, I was telling some of my friends, like, my plan for, like, how much, like, which videos we're gonna, like, make. Um, I was gonna do the hardcore, or I was gonna do the snail, and then a hardcore, uh, with the snail mod, and I was expecting that to get me to 500 subscribers. Uh, those two combined, and I was like, I was telling one of my friends, I was like, it reached 3,000, or three, yeah, it reached 3,000 views. I got 150 watch hours out of it. That's that's about all. That that's that's as much as I expected. And then it just blew up overnight. So it's awesome. I really appreciate everybody who who's here from that and who watched that and subscribed. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, I I literally took a nap and woke up. Um, like, why do I have like? 50 notifications on my phone and they were all like comments from the youtube app or like you know notifications from the youtube app about comments and i was like holy cow how so it's awesome thanks again everybody <laughs> who's, who's here from that who, you know <laughs> supporting me it's awesome should make an og role in discord Cause think some of us deserve it, LMAO. Yeah, I could, I could. I could do an OG roll. Maybe I could, maybe I could make a roll that's like the first thousand, you know. Um, I really don't want a three-block tall house. I need cobble. Because I don't want to do just this, maybe. Um, okay. Oh, hold on. Let's make a new... Let's make a new pickaxe. Or two. We'll make two pickaxes. Okay. Let's get a bunch of cobble. Hold on. What's the worst injury you've ever had? What's going on here? The game keeps it loaded somehow, or just uh, just spawn when he sleeps. Um, the he loads his own chunks. So he loads his own chunks, and he can see between unloaded chunks. He can see you. Um. But he 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 can't see you past two thousand and forty eight blocks. That's like a that's a limit that I can't I can't change. So Valentine is is streaming snail block two. You're gonna go. All right. Awesome, awesome. Well, when I'm done here, if uh <laughs> if he's still going, you know, maybe I'll pull him up and send everybody over there if I can. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be done. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm still streaming here. Do a raid? Not yet. Not yet. I gotta. I still want to play. Twenty forty eight blocks is a lot though, so it's probably fine. Yeah, and since he loads his own chunks, if you leave more than twenty forty eight blocks away, and then you sleep, he teleports closer to you anyways. Like he teleports nearby. So. 2048 is probably plenty as as long as for the most part the person's sleeping every once in a while <laughs> but yeah it would take probably like 20 minecraft days for him to go that far actually maybe not i don't know how long it'd take him to go places but you can use the snail as a chunk loader you 100 percent can drowning in work gargle 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 But yeah such w glad i was here before 100 subs <laughs> yeah you're one of one of the old old ogs before 69 
<laughs> at the very least. How's the stream so far? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, we've been trapping a snail. So, he probably doesn't appreciate that, but... You know, that's what he gets. If I put this mod on, I'd forget in like 20 minutes, lol. <laughs> Just forget and have it show up and one-shot you? That'd suck. Ooh. Deep Slate. We like Deep Slate. Clay! I know what this means. I didn't make another shovel. Is there an azalea? Not azalea. Is there a lush cave here? Alan Goober is hosting a Jackbox event. Pretty sure you should join if it does happen. Who's Goober? Warden needs to meet your snail friend. So I did test the warden. Um, okay, well, I don't think I'm finding lush caves here, actually. I'm going to just keep going about my business. Um, I tested him with the warden. Um, warden pretty much tries to target him and hit him. Um, and he knocks him back. I can't make him not knock him back. Um, so you could make the warden kind of entertain him for a while, but he doesn't do damage. Like, the warden doesn't do damage to him, so he won't, like, turn around and hit the warden or anything. Um, so for the most part, the most part, he'll, he'll ignore the warden, and the warden might try to kill it because it's making noise. Okay, well, now there's moss here. Are we at a lush caves or no? Oh, we are. Here we are. Ooh, a spawner. Hmm, I don't want to break the spawner. I'm just going to leave all that. Axolotls, very nice. Okay, okay, okay. Good luck, buddy. I got all the stuff I need right now. We're not dealing with that. Not gonna lie, your, your blow up is inspiring me to go make another video now, even though I dropped one yesterday and I'm so tired. Hey, you know? Uh, I can't tell you why the, the gods of YouTube found favor with me and 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 did this i appreciate it but it's you know you never know which video is going to work which one's going to take off so i definitely couldn't have predicted this okay well so apparently there's like a thousand mobs out here how far is the snail from me right now he's in a trap right there he's about He's about like 30 blocks away in that trap. Bro, how am I supposed to sleep? Oh, the spider has speed? They can spawn with random potion effects, right? Hold on. I think the mod is a good idea. And the execution was really good. I don't think it was just luck. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. I think the meme ability of it is, is good, too. And the fact that it adds a challenge. 
to Minecraft is, 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 is part of it. But yeah. Um, where do normal snails spawn? They spawn in swamps, basically. There's a couple other places. Or there's one other place. Uh, dripstone caves, if they have natural light in the dripstone cave. So. Now, how do I deal with all this? Oh, this guy's got a fishing rod. Didn't drop it, though. Hello, baby. Around. I just think this mod with hardcore going to be the next big Minecraft trend. It'd be cool if it was. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's other people doing doing this. That'd be awesome. Oh my god. What the heck? The number of mobs here. What do I even do? Do I make a run for it, grab my bed, and then go sleep on this thing over here? But I don't really want to sleep over there. It's going to let the snail out. Think I forgot to light things? I, yep, I think I did too. Which is, it's the, that's the thing I hate about uh, Fulbright, is I forget to light stuff up because I don't see it. Um, I don't even have coal. Leave until they despawn? You're right. That's fair. We're just going this way. Maybe I could grab my boat. Oh, and of course it's raining, so I do need to sleep. Whew. <laughs> Okay, we're just, we're going to boat over here. Hopefully they despawn. Okay, they haven't yet. I don't know how far I need to go. 128 blocks, I know that much, but. Will you ever add other types of snails to to my mod? Um, I don't know. If I do, I would probably just add, like, non-hostile versions. I don't want to do, like, a dweller mod. Um, I would want to just add, like, peaceful ones that are nice, you know? <laughs> peaceful nice guys like variations based on what biome they're in instead of of course well they spawn in again we messed up okay I can fight one creeper and then grab my bed And then I can probably just sleep right here, since there's nothing around. Okay, JK, there are things around. Okay. Sleep, quickly. Now we swim away and despawn them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's the snail? Okay, snail's there. Okay, we'll come back for the snail. I gotta swim away and despawn everything else. I know this might sound random, but you should never be ungrateful for what you have because everything can be so much worse and you'd never know how bad it can ever be. And people are going through things you can't even imagine. Yeah. It's true. Think about that a lot. Imagine if the snail dropped on your head. Oh, it wouldn't. I was fine. I I knew what I was doing. Cause I know exactly how the how the, the system works. I can cheese it because I'm the pro. I'm the I'm the expert on how the immortal snail AI works.
I feel like you could make the mod harder progressively with day count, making it faster. Is the snail mod the only mod you're playing with? Right now, yes. Add the ability to put snail ooze on your boots to make them slimy, which makes you faster. YouTube has given me like three reminders to take a break. They do that? <laughs> That's funny. All right, my friend. S little, little snaily guy. Where are you going? You got plans of some sort? Hold on, let me see which way he's aiming. My boy is aimed this way and is swimming off that way. Oh, God. Yeah, sometimes when he swims, he kind of just tries to pathfind to the nearest place he thinks he can climb up. And he's just wrong about where the nearest place is to climb up. And I don't I don't understand. Oh, I don't have a weapon now. Just get back on land here. Or we kill him with a pickaxe, I guess. Oh, shield's broken. We are leaving. JK. There it goes. <laughs> what do you think? Is that a good place to end stream? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Spectate world. Um, I have no home or bed. Shoot, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to go see. I want to go see that where where we're at. So I want to show off the the snail stuff a little bit here. Um. Open a land, cheats on. Got it. Um, slash TP. Um, where were we? Were we like four thousand? I didn't. I didn't check the thing. Clip that. That was actually funny. Yeah, somebody clip that. <laughs> okay. Um, where's the last picture I took? Um, seven thousand. Um, we'll just go a hundred blocks in the air. Hopefully that'll be enough. And 1300. And we need creative mode so we can load the chunks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big lame. Can't believe I died. Sad. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, where's this guy going? I honestly, I don't understand. His, his water mechanics are weird and I don't know. Do you think it'll make a vid with highlights from the stream? I really want to make a video where I do beat the the King Snail on Hardcore. That would be the video I want to make. <laughs> so, I know Snail on a side quest. He got he got places to be for some reason. But um, let me let me put a bed down. Where's my bed? Here it is. Um, my boy. Uh, kills you in creative mode now. So you can't just uh, trap the snail. Uh, you can. You can't just trap the snail because I. You, you can just trap the snail in regular. In regular um, Minecraft or not Minecraft in the regular version of this mode of this thing, you can just trap the snail as well. So. Um, <laughs> let me show you guys this stuff, uh, cause I, I it's gonna take a while to show this part off. Um, but hey, we could spawn a couple more of these guys just for fun, cause it's funny. Oops. <laughs> Hold on, does he kill you in spectator? No, he doesn't. Good. You don't have a hitbox in spectator. Oh, I accidentally took a screenshot. Okay, where did I just put the... Or I just lost the thing. Oh, I'm taking more screenshots. There we go. I need to press F3. Um, so, I'm wearing the helmet. You can see this. When I crouch... Okay. You can't, you can't enter this long enough to see all the uh, things... 
But can I try jumping over one? Hold on. You shouldn't you you probably can't jump over one just from the ground. I could like jump over this guy maybe. Nope. Uh, show the hitbox. That's it there. So, I mean, he kills you without contact to the hitbox exactly, but... Yeah, basically he has kill aura. Don't get too close, you know? You know what I'm saying? Silly little goofy little fella. Here, uh, you want to see the weirdest bug that I haven't been able to fully fix? That's Minecraft's um, mechanics messing up right here. I'd have to fundamentally change how Minecraft works. He he sees that I'm on this block, and he goes, Oh, I'm on this block now, so I must be able to reach him. So, just there's that for you guys. Um, you have to be... You have to be positioned perfectly right where he's coming at you directly straight. If he comes at you at a diagonal, it doesn't work. But if you stand on the very back quarter of a block, he stops. If you're on the front, uh, if you're anywhere else on the bot on on the block, he'll get you. But yeah. So there's the there's the hot tip for you guys of how to survive this thing. Oh, hold on, let's go creative. Let's do boat. This is my personal favorite. I mean, this is just a Minecraft function right here. Is that boats... Boats just pick up things. So it's hard to get him in the boat if he moves towards the boat on his own. Um, but he won't, he won't leave that boat until you sleep. Um, and we can just do slash, uh, time set night so that I can sleep. I'll show you guys this. This is kind of fun. Oh, okay. That's a problem. That is a serious problem. No, you, you couldn't enter the boat. It would kill you. Boats are OP. Yep. So, I... I don't know how to fix that, man. That's crazy. Uh, that's gonna have to be, like, a bug fix for another day. I don't know. That's... That's wild. I thought I had that fixed. Why does it not teleport him when he's in a boat? That's weird. Oh, well. Anyways, I think, hold on, let me, let me do this real quick. Let's go to screen one here so we can see that. Um, I don't know how to do real raids, but this guy, um, he's been in my chat. He's been active. He's there. <sighs> he's pretty cool. He's playing Skyblock with the Immortal Snail mod on it, the newest version. So if you guys want to go over there, you should he head over there if you want to keep watching the Immortal Snail. So there it is. I It's it's our unofficial raid system. I, I don't know if there's an official raid system I have a part of, but it just is what it is. Goober Game... Goober Gamer guys, you can look them up. Let me link let me link them in chat actually. Here you go. Everybody click on that. Leave the stream. Click on that. Go. You don't need to tell him it's a it's a, it's a raid. You don't need to make it a huge deal. But watch him. He he's funny. I was watching him earlier today. He streamed for like a, a couple hours. I watched him I watched him a ton. I was laughing. He's so funny. Click the link. 
I see there's 37 people still watching. <laughs> I'll be in chat over there. <laughs> All right, I'm ending stream. The link is there. <laughs> 